Last year, at the start of 2022, I made some predictions for what was going to happen with Home Assistant for the year ahead. But seeing as it's now 2023, Happy New Year to you, by the way, we need to update and set some new predictions for this year for what we think the project is going to achieve over the coming 12 months. But before we take a look at some of my new predictions for this year, let's take a look at how I did with my guesses from last year. So I made five predictions last year. Well, I mean, they were predictions, I guess, but mostly they were kind of things that I personally wanted to see changed. So here are my five predictions from 2022. They were number one, that we were going to see the configuration moved from YAML all the way into UI, including integrations, groups, cards, and all of those things. They were all gonna be moved from config into UI. Number two, we were gonna get drag and drop for dashboards. Number three, we were going to be able to add a secondary data disk or network storage for media. Number four, we were gonna have more control over our phones through the companion app for things like turning on Do Not Disturb. And number five, we were gonna have more granular control over user accounts. So the first one, moving all configuration into the UI. This didn't happen quite yet. The Home Assistant team did make some huge strides into moving everything into the UI. I think pretty much every release that we got last year had at least some integrations moved from config over into the UI. So there was definite progress there and it just needs a little bit more time. They did, however, move a lot of other things into the UI, groups being one of them. Much of the customization stuff was moved. We got a lot more helpers and automation features in the UI too. So I am gonna give myself half a point for that one, but not all the integrations have been moved yet, but that is improving with every release. Number two was the drag and drop. I'm not even gonna to attempt to try and redeem myself with that one. That just didn't happen this year. Although we did get a sneak peek at that at the very end of last year, and I was kind of hoping that we would see it sneak into the last release of the year, but nope, no points for that one. Number three was being able to add a secondary data disk for media storage. That one actually did happen. So you can go in and add a secondary physical drive to your home assistant. Hit a button in the UI and it will move all of the data, including your media, over to that disk, which is cool. No network attached storage yet, which I feel really needs to happen, but I'm gonna take that one as a win. Number four was more granular control over our phones. So the phone app has a ton of sensors in it for doing pretty much everything you want, but I wanted to see more on the control side. So being able to turn on do not disturb, adjust the volume, adjust the brightness, open apps, things like that. But I don't think we really saw any change on that one. So that is zero points once again. And finally, number five was granular control over user accounts. Again, we didn't see any change there with regards to that one, which I do feel is something that really needs to be addressed soon. But zero points again, which gives me like, what, one and a half points? Clearly I suck at predictions, but that isn't gonna stop me from attempting to make some more for this year of 2023. And this time I do have a bit more guidance as we have a bit of a direction this year for the mission statement. So as we know, this year is going to be year of the voice for Home Assistant. So that does give me a bit of an idea as to where the focus is going to be for this year of 2023. In 2022, we had streamlining experiences, but that came out after I had filmed the last video. And this year is year of the voice. So I'm feeling confident that I can get five out of five this year, right? Starting off with a big one, I'm gonna dive right in and say I think we will get voice support for controlling devices in Home Assistant this year through multiple devices and also in multiple languages. I don't think every single language will be supported by the end of this year, but I think some of the more major ones will. And I also don't think we will see things like asking random questions about celebrities or what the time in Tokyo is or things that you can do like with Google or Alexa. But I think control of all of your devices will happen and in multiple languages. Number two, following on from that, we are going to need some sort of hardware running in order to obviously pick up our voice commands. I don't think given how long the shortage has went on that they will prioritize Raspberry Pis this time. Raspberry Pis would also be pretty expensive once you add microphones, speakers, enclosures, etc. So I think the obvious one for me is to use ESP Home. 
I think ESP Home will get microphone support on ESP32s. ESP Home already supports speakers, so it would seem like a natural extension of that would be microphones next, which would also have other benefits outside of voice control, such as for intercoms. All we would need now is some hardware. Who could we get to do that? Number three, I'm gonna say that automations will get some sort of organization by being able to group them or put them in folders or something, some sort of way of organizing them to make them easier to find and navigate. This has got to be one of the most requested things I've seen recently, and I do agree it would be really useful to have. When you have lots of automations, it can sometimes be very difficult to find the one you are looking for. So some sort of organization structure would be really good to have either by room or using folders or something. I think this would be a very welcome addition. Number four, I'm gonna put Matter into the mix and say that this year, Home Assistant will have the best support for Matter devices out of any of the ecosystems out there. As we know, Matter has started to be released and is very slowly being adopted by some of the smart home brands and should allow for compatibility between devices regardless of the brand. However, I still think that despite this mission, there is going to be some sort of quirks of using one brand's device on another brand's platform. So I'm predicting that Home Assistant will have the best support and bridge that gap like it always does of having all of the features and functions available regardless of the brand. I also reckon that at some point, Home Assistant itself will be able to join another Matter network instead of vice versa. That's maybe a lofty prediction, but I'm confident in the team. Finally, number five, I'm chucking it back in and I'm saying that we will get the ability to add network shares to Home Assistant for storing and playing media on a NAS, for example. This would allow you to store your music, videos, CCTV recordings on a central location like many of you are probably already doing and then play it back or store stuff using this network share on Home Assistant. This has been a highly requested feature for so many years now and something that I have personally wanted for a long time too. And I really feel like it's got to happen at some point soon. And I think 2023 might finally be the year, please. So those are my predictions for Home Assistant this year. Hopefully I can actually get a few more right this year than I did last year. But I guess we're gonna to have to wait until 2024 before we can see. But I'm interested to hear your predictions or your wants and your needs from Home Assistant this year. Do you agree with my predictions or do you have something different in mind possibly? Let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, that's what we're going to do it for this video. Please make sure to drop this video a like and get subscribed if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Hmm.